when I first thought of opening an art residency, I was thinking on offering the possibility that once I got, when I was younger, to go to Europe as a Mexican artist, and then uh, so many doors are open for uh, emerging artists. I met Santiago for the first time in April, when I had decided to leave my house and my ex-husband for focusing on my work for a sculpture project in the village Lissa. I asked Santiago if I could stay over in July and he welcomed me as the first Dutch artist to stay in this residence. Since I entered the residency I met a lot of artists and among them were Ricardo Santos, Pierre Federali and Mario Gildado. They didn't want to rely on institutions anymore or on galleries. They worked for a long time for a gallery and for a f famous artist, Javé Marin. And they say, no, we want to be independent. They made Noah as Una Galeria, which is a platform and a community of artists connected together on Instagram. And they expose in Mexico City in their own studio space. So they are free from higher institutional restrictions. I think I just want to say that Mario Gildado is a very important person in this documentary. His way of making art and his way of thinking about things, maybe it's, it's kind of like an enchantment. Of a world that we don't see. But we do feel. Which art do you really hate? Frida Kahlo. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Maybe conceptual art or minimal art. You know? Yeah. White. Paintings in white walls with white people. Well, it have no sense, this. <laughs> to hold this in the air, blowing. No, there's no rationality. I don't need a brush. Why don't you, what you don't need? Eh? Why you don't need? Oh. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Mm -hmm. No, I believe in human beings. I believe in twins. I like that in art. No rationality. Society. Yeah, my artworks ask question to the rational society that irrationality asks often, every day, 
That's the main idea. Also, they destruct the image or construct the image to register the the life of the artist. This hecatombe. I don't know if it is. Yeah. Multifragmental. Many things happen at the same time. Multipolar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I think it's big enough. <laughs> Nowadays, contemporary situation is more to be the champion and not be the loser, and that's rough. I yeah, know that's difficult. If artists want to be in this league, this tournament, I guess you have to prove it, and you have to gain, and you have to sort of kind of way. Um, Yeah, be in the competition and be the best. The best, no talent. <laughs> Investing in myself because I am the fabric of Mario World. Don't follow the path of the ordinary people because ordinary people doesn't mean anything. You know? it, it stopped being a residency, but it becomes like a, a, another home for these yeah. artists, no? like really, a yeah. place that they can always come back and they can always like use it as a base to try to reach yeah. uh, newer places, bigger places. No? And yeah, then you start uh, also uh, growing your uh, network, you know? like. Uh, like just what we're doing right now we met through the residency and we are still hanging out and getting together and thinking about creating new stuff and 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 it's not only with the artists that you knew and the, the local artists that you used to hang out with now we're talking with mexicans argentinians brazilians uh, dutch people blah, blah, all at the same time and now we're thinking way more global way more global no? I think that's really the key about. I think that's totally yeah. the key. Like you, because yeah. You have a global network now going on here. Yeah, like yeah. It's turning huge. It's turning huge because yeah. it and it 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 doesn't only, uh, for example, it's not only the people that come that become part of that network. Like they they talk about it and they spread the word, and one person becomes twenty person in less uh, in, in no time. No, so yes. and then. This like uh, it becomes like an exponential growth that benefits everyone. Like not only me and not only the artists that come. Like it starts uh, really, uh, yeah, like supporting the whole group, yeah. no? and that's yeah. very important. I think. So the connection that we show our countries to each other through different eyes was a very important reason for me. Um, like the switch of going there and back again, and like when you say 
hey, that is magical, and what you got in the street is beautiful. So I made pictures and they say, hey, we see our country also with a different kind of view, just like I experienced when they made pictures in the Netherlands. This May, I will travel to Mexico again. And there I want to brainstorm with these artists about how we want to be exposed as a team in the Netherlands. We are going to start to make a tryout of a co-creating exposition in the studio of Noah Zender Galeria at the end of May. I'm going to film the reunion, the struggle, the traffic, the creation of the expo and to uphold interviews about creating art together in a global context. In August we will be together as a team in the Netherlands again for a couple of months. And there we want to create and build an exposition in the Netherlands together. Yeah.